Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Thursday, December 5th, 2019. Uh, and this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> excuse me. Um, also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 5th of December, it doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate at that time. Whenever you watch this, whenever you're called to watch it and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Yeah. So I did go get to see Cher last night. As you can see, I'm wearing my new shirt that I got at the concert. Um, and I did take some really nice videos and um, I'm going to I'm going to post all of those today. I know I posted some of the opening act, which was chic last night. That was so much fun. Um, but then Cher came on and I got my videos and everything, but I didn't want to like I wanted to like wait and make sure I did it justice. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to post them today. Um, so if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to do so at divine underscore conversations. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, happy hour. We are doing happy hour tonight. Um, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, ch also check me out on Instagram beforehand. I will be going live and doing a little bit of a chat and a, an energy check-in for the Insta fam. That's going to be sometime around like 5.15, but happy hour is going to start at 6. And I'm going to kick happy hour off with an unboxing um, because I have some packages here that have been sitting here um, unopened. I've been waiting for the right time. I don't want to just like open them without you guys. I kind of want to do it where you guys can see because you're the one sending it. So I want to open it with you. That'll be fun. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to actually going to check today to see if there's anything else to pick up. But yeah, so we're starting happy hour with an unboxing and then we're going to get into personal single question readings. Um, so as of now, the floor is open. So if you'd like to get in on it, go right ahead. You can send payment to paypal.me slash divine conversations. Single question readings are $5 off during happy hour. So it's $25. Um, and make sure to put your question in the notes section of the payment just to streamline the process. That way I have your question ready to go. And once it's your turn, we can just get on it. Yeah, there's only 10 slots per session. So, and they can fill up pretty quickly. So get yourself in there if you wanna, if you wanna have a question. Yeah. Um, that's about it guys. So let's get into, let's get into the energies today. Now, first of all, when I was connect, connecting with the collective this morning, um, the color that I was seeing is actually green now. And I say it actually because it's been, it was yellow before. Um, it had been yellow fairly consistently for the last few days. Now it's green, um, but it's, I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a pale, pale green. It's almost like a, a pale limeish green. Um, but here's the thing. Because nor like if we were talking in like rich, healthy heart chakra energy, it's like a deep, vibrant emerald green, right? Well, what I'm seeing, what I'm perceiving right now is like a lighter version of that. And what I'm hearing in association with it is and uh, a, a clearing process is happening within the heart, okay? Um, a brightening is happening, a cleansing is happening. And so over time that, that as you work on healing your heart chakra, um, and cleansing it of whatever is blocking it, whatever is you're harboring within it, um, it'll start to develop more of a of a vibrant emerald green color, right? But what we have here right now is the two of swords. Okay, that's the card that popped out. And then you have the five of pentacles as the overall energy, but with temperance on the other side. And to be quite honest, temperance being here on the other side is a really good sign because it really feels like somebody is going through it right now. Somebody absolutely feels paralyzed, um, immobile, unable, inadequate. Um, but mainly it's like they feel paralyzed in a way 
because of feelings of inadequacy. Um, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. What this feels like is, oh, hey, they're the starlings. Hey, starlings. Um, what I really feel like this is, is someone finally is facing their sense of inadequacy. Um, I just heard uh, a sense of betrayal. And maybe someone is, um, in terms of like that, I just heard betrayal. So maybe someone is, is facing how they may have acted. They may have betrayed someone, but also deep down, you're, that's leading you towards facing how you may have been betrayed in your life. Maybe how you have been abandoned in your life somehow. It just what I get. And it, it, it's interesting um, because, yes, this five of pentacles is giving me an energy of feeling inadequate or feeling lack or less than or whatnot feeling out in the cold even though even though this person on this side of the card he's not out in the cold he's actually inside the church whereas the other side is someone out in the cold right well what i'm seeing oh look and the six of swords is underneath that okay i'll explain what this is what i'm picking up on um it feels like someone f is in this state because they're finally facing their pain and that could be or finally facing some facet of their pain right i'm not i'm not saying that they're facing every little bit of it but there's something that they quite they can't quite ignore anymore or at least it's I've gotten to the point where now you're facing it for some for whatever reason um and um it's like the fact that you're dealing with this almost gives you a sense of feeling weak and yet you're not you're human you know what i mean but it's it's quite paralyzing two of swords right but ultimately and this is why this is why i'm feeling like temperance is a really good thing because ultimately this is helping you find greater balance Okay, there's an alchemy, there's a healing that's happening here in terms of this. All right. Oh, and the Six of Swords being underneath that Five of Pentacles, again, is talking about what I'm picking up on and moving from rough waters to calmer waters, finally facing some sort of turmoil within, right? Yeah. This is nice. It's a, look, I promise. <laughs> I know it sucks. I know it's shitty, but I, I promise it's a good thing. Okay? Just keep going. Keep getting... You can get through this. I promise you. All right? It's not the end of the world. And you're not, a, you're not an inadequate person. You're not a weak person. You're not a bad person. You're just a human being that's doing what you came down to earth to do. Experience things. Expand and grow. Right? Right. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to give this one more shuffle just to clear the energy and then we'll see what we've got okay let me just take a sip from my no drama llama yeah <laughs> by the way if you ever get a chance to see Cher in concert please do it she's fantastic okay here we go Interesting. Now the color has turned back to yellow. That's very interesting. Okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, November, November. Good God, Eric. No, December. Thursday, December 5th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, they're saying five shuffles, so. Ooh, here we go. One. Two for our Thursday, December 5th, 2019. Three. 
for the collective. Oh, interesting. Now it's... Okay, so the energy really is bouncing back and forth between your heart and your solar plexus. So there really could be a situation in which someone is really facing a lot of the things. What I just heard is facing some of the things that they've done in the past. Some of the... Some of the facing the ways they have used their willpower in the past. And a lot of it has... has is. And if you're really if you're really going through it, then it feels like what you're facing is like narcissistic and manipulative tendencies from the past that m may have really set you, or it seems to have set you astray, set you off course. In many ways, it has. Okay, doesn't mean you're not going to get back onto the course, but right now, this is this is whatever it is you're dealing with. That might be really hurting you, might be really difficult, painful to look at, to watch, whatnot, what not, whatever. That's you getting back on your path, basically. It's you realigning, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got for today, yes? All right, Thursday, December 5th, 2019. Thursday, December 5th. Okay, one more? Yes, please. All right, here we go. Thursday, December 5th, 2019. Isn't today... Uh, anyway, one more shuffle. All right. Thursday, December 5th, 2019. For the collective. Thursday, Thursday. There we go. Okay. We're going to stop there. Wow. Overall energy. Whew. Okay. We have the nine of cups, uh, nine of cups, the nine of wands. And then we also have the high priestess on the other side. Of, you know, it's so interesting because this really feels like it's like the masculine is being brought into the, into a cocoon in some way and is facing some truths facing some secrets secrets being revealed but not whatever by the high priestess i just really feel what this really feels like you guys is someone is being brought into this i like to call it a hyperbolic chamber yeah um of this nine of wands but it, this woman is coaxing this person into this cave for healing okay for rejuvenation for recuperation and i really feel like that's this high priestess energy Okay, there's very there's a very much a very much a healing element to that right now. Looky here, we've got this two of cups again. This two of cups, this is the third day this two of cups has come out. Two of cups, two of pentacles, seven of wands. Still someone someone is aware of a relationship. Okay, sure. Someone may be aware of a relationship. However, I feel like this also could be... I feel, I feel like this also could be someone becoming aware of or getting in tune with their masculine and feminine, the bond, the, 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 the relationship between masculine and feminine within. Okay, for sure. But really what I'm getting here is someone... Someone being aware of a, of a connection, of a bond, right? Um, but still being guarded, still being defensive, closed off, blocked, about having, having really strong boundaries and keeping up some sort of appearance here. Um, but honestly, I feel like it's because this person is going through a massive, someone here is going through a massive awakening, all right? You have judgment with the tower, okay? Um, and it's this side of the tower where we see that the the last time the, that we saw the tower, recently, this week, maybe it was last week, I don't remember exactly when, um, but the last time we saw the tower, it was this side of the tower. And it was the side where, you know, you see that this whatever was built is hollow and the mask is coming off and the chariot that led you 
on your path to build whatever this tower represents for you is destroyed and now those sphinxes are running amok hello hello awakening yes I really do feel like this is a masculine energy that we're talking to here. It feels like your awareness of some sort of bond or some sort of relationship, whether, you, whether you're, you're communicating with the person or not, your awareness of this is making you that much more defensive. It's almost, it almost feels like you might be compensating a little bit for the pain that you might be feeling by going maybe a little extra hard <laughs> with keeping up the appearance here with this two of pentacles keeping up this dog and pony show right yeah. it's just a symptom um i don't feel like that's anything that's going to last really long this might be a little bit of a shock to you. A shock to your system. I just get this feeling that maybe, um, you know, you've, this is, might be a really, this might be a lot for you. Whom, whomever this is, this might be a lot for you. Cause I'm just getting a feeling like you've never, you've never really felt anything this strongly before, but I really kind of feel like it's because you never allowed yourself to. And now there's like no way you can't feel it. So like maybe all of this time that you might have been. Hiding from the pain, pushing it away. It's like it's all just coming up to the surface anymore. You can't bury it anymore. You can't hide from it anymore. It's just the vibe that I'm getting from this. Again. If this does have to do with a relationship between you and someone else, I'm really not getting that they're going to reach out anytime soon. I mean, to be quite honest, with this, with this overall energy of the Nine of Wands here, it's like this person is finally getting started with some serious deep healing, deep cleansing, that kind of thing. Okay. So keep that in mind. Don't, I, don't allow yourself to slip into the thing into some sort of feelings of oh well if so and so is like going through his healing then or his or her healing then maybe they'll reach out don't i mean don't get i don't, I don't mean to be rude but like don't get your hopes up just because they they very well may not they very well may not for some time what i'm saying is like they're it's like they're just starting to heal for, from something they're just starting to face something even though they may be keeping up appearance here Two of Pentacles, this keeping up appearance also kind of feels like a defense mechanism. It kind of has to be a defense mechanism because all these people that they're playing, they're, they're putting on their dog and pony show for, I mean, the show must go on, right? They can't know about what's going on underneath the surface, or at least this is how this person might be feeling. Maybe they just don't want people to know, okay? Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right. Let's um. Let's look into this a little deeper here. I want to start with this Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Wands here. Traffic. <laughs> um. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Yeah. Let's look into it. See what we get. All right, one more shuffle. Ooh. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> the 10 of cups just popped out. Okay. Let's look a little let's let's look a little further here. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. 
what what is this let's look a little deeper into these energies here for you we have the magician wow with the ace of wands and the star my 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 Okay, so um, this is some good energy. This is really nice. Uh, <laughs> this also could this also could be symbolizing a relationship starting. That was kind of something that I was a little bit picking up on. I was picking up on that a little bit, but that wasn't like the major thing that was coming through, so I didn't really say anything about it. But but now also, with whatever someone is going through here, I mean, this could really be generating the start of a new relationship. It could be influencing someone to manifest something. So now in terms of that, in terms of manifesting something, Something is, it, it could be that something absolutely is coming together through the chaos, through the madness. And you just might be guarded about it right now. You could be, um, you know, just going about the same old thing. Going about your day-to-day -day life, whatnot, whatever. This is good, though. Ace of Wands, the Star, the Ten of Cups. I mean, ultimately, what I'm getting here also is if if, if the 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 main the main part of the message that was coming through is resonating with you, that being um, healing, facing something. Um, it could even be a relationship, a partnership uh, could have been a catalyst towards something. Ultimately, it's leading you towards some sort of healing. And wish fulfillment with the star. It's like it's inspiring you. It's inspiring someone to take some sort of action. It's inspiring someone to move in a direction that facilitates healing with the star, but also facilitates wish fulfillment with the Ten of Cups here, okay? It's even, okay, well, I, this makes perfect sense. I completely understand this now. It's, it's influencing someone to manifest, take action. The magician is the overall energy, okay? Now, what that actually looks like, I don't know. I don't know. Especially if you're dealing with a situation in which you've fallen out of communication with, some, with someone, you really feel like it's completely done, over with. You could never approach this person. You could never see this person again. What not, whatever. I mean, don't get caught up on all that because that's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm saying is... Ultimately, it's inspiring someone to move closer to what their true dream of emotional satisfaction is. And to be quite honest with you, the first step in doing that is to heal. And start to learn about some of the things that may have been hidden. Right? Nine of Wands, High Priestess, okay? Hyperbolic Chamber. Very much a healing energy with this Nine of Wands here. And to be quite honest, this also, and this was the other, this is the other part of it that was giving me an energy of feeling like something was starting, something was coming into fruition, some sort of dream, some sort of long awaited wish is in the process of being fulfilled or is about to be fulfilled. I was getting that from this Nine of Wands because also the Nine of Wands is giving me an energy of you have made it. Nines are an ending, right? So you finally made it. You've made it to the very end. And now here is the high priestess coaxing you into this chamber saying, okay, let's get you cleaned up. Because wish fulfillment is about to come through. Okay, that's 
for some of you, take it as it resonates. Now, it may not necessarily, it, <laughs> you might be looking at the reading, listening to this saying, okay, this is kind of resonating with me, but I don't know how that could possibly happen. I'm in complete dishevels. I'm, I'm completely disheveled and my life is in shambles or my situation with this person is like complete and utter shit. And I don't know if we're ever going to be able to speak to each other again. I don't know if this person would ever want to see me again, let alone speak to me. It, it, hey, the universe works in some really mysterious ways, you guys. And maybe that one person that you're thinking about, maybe that just wasn't the right person. Maybe that person was just really just meant to be a catalyst for you. You have, you never really know. Now, granted, I will say this because this just came through. So I will say this. If, if in this process that you're going through right now, Right? Well, that's symbolized by this overall energy of the Nine of Wands and the High Priestess. If, you are, if your higher self, if your intuition, if all of the signs and the synchronicities and whatnot, whatever, are, are influencing or guiding or leading you to reach out to a certain person, then maybe you should really consider doing that. You never know what could come of it. Like, I mean, even if you just want to reach out and just to like, hey, say, hey, I'm sorry. You never know what could happen, right? But you've got to follow your intuition there. You've got to follow your guidance. And I would say, if it feels right to you, if you have, if it feels like in your heart, it's like, hey, you know, I actually, I really should do this, then okay, then you're in alignment. But if you're in a position from like desperate uh, and fearful and like, and just an obsessive, whatnot, whatever, that's not so much in alignment, okay? Just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's talk about your come to Jesus moment. <laughs> Judgment with the tower, right? All right. <laughs> it's so funny because I didn't even see, I didn't hear that before when I was channeling for this, when, when this first came out. But now, now that I'm looking at it to go a little deeper into it, the first thing I hear is come to Jesus moment. <laughs> And then, I mean, that's kind of what this looks like, right? And please keep in mind that we are non-denominational here. It's a joke, okay? It's funny, but... <laughs> okay, judgment with the tower. Let's look at this. Ooh. There's that seven of wands again. I wish you guys could hear the starlings. They're so adorable. Okay. Ooh. And the magician, okay. Ooh, ten of pentacles, very nice. So, okay, yeah, this is definitely this. The the ch the chariot with the with the um judgment here, not the chariot. I'm sorry, the tower with the judgment is very much a com a, a completion, a kick in the pants, right? Uh, to oh shit, to get started on some new journey is what I just heard. But I'm I'm. This is a lot of cards. So you have the magician again, two of wands, six of wands, eight of wands. There is the communication. There's the communication. If you're if you're really being guided to reach out to someone, it might be time that you seriously consider doing so. That's for a select few of you. Okay. You have the empress. With the high priestess yet again you have the king of pentacles so there's the masculine energy that we were talking about seven of wands three of cups five of cups so basically what i'm feeling here is this masculine energy this king of pentacles is basically um getting schooled by the feminine right now <laughs> and it, and i'm saying it that way because it, that's kind of on the surface. It's kind of what it looks like. And you might kind of feel pretty overwhelmed by this, especially if but it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. That's We're not talking gender here. We're talking energy. This is someone that is very masculine, has been very masculinely oriented, very materially oriented, um, focused on everything, on, on only your career, your finances, your status, how you look, how you how people perceive you, all that kind of stuff, right? Just focused 100% on material, but in an unhealthy way, in an overly aggressive, overly uh, selfish way, right? Very maybe fairly miserly in nature, okay? Um
I'm hearing someone is getting schooled on the um, the principles of love, romance, compassion, and how to balance that with career. So it's just like it. It just feels like like with the high priestess and the empress energy. It's like the universe is doing everything that it can to to help someone integrate their feminine energy. And that's also kind of something that I was picking up on here with this two of cups, right? Without it just being about an external relationship, this really could also be about the re your internal relationship with yourself here. Um, and you do have the Seven of Wands with the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Okay, yeah, so yes, someone is very guarded right now. Someone is very defensive, probably. Someone probably wants to talk, feels like they might want to talk, but again, is closing themselves off from that because of the pain and the hurt and the sorrow that they're dealing with, that they're facing, that they're realizing they may have put someone else through in the past, that kind of energy. But ultimately, this is a point of self-mastery with this Three of Pentacles. So whatever it is that you're, you're facing, guilt, shame, remorse, whatnot, whatever, it's okay. I do want to say take it with a grain of salt because ultimately it's helping you heal, it's helping you grow, okay? It's helping you master yourself, Three of Pentacles. And like I said earlier, this really does feel like somebody is facing some sort of pain of heart or heartbreak or something that they have been absolutely refusing to face, maybe damn near their whole life, if not a, a, a large portion of it, right? It's something that's finally being faced, which is ultimately allowing you to go through this process of deeper self-mastery. With the three of pentacles here okay but then you have the magician again because the magician was on the bottom of the deck when we were clarifying this section you have the magician with the two of wands the six of wands and the eight of wands so ultimately you are being set up or someone is being set up to take some sort of action i really feel like the magician what this magician energy here feels like is someone is finally for lack of a better phrase taking action for themselves somehow i mean this literally just feels like someone is finally consciously making some sort of decision to make some sort of change in their life and overcome some sort of adversity okay it really does feel like you are taking, you're taking, you're taking the bull by the reins is what I'm hearing. And in you, and you consciously making that decision to do that, now it's like the, the air opens up where you may have been blocked before. Now it's like I'm free and open. And literally what the universe is saying to you is, yes, of course the air is free and open and clear for you to take this action and take these steps. That's what you needed to do all along. That's literally all you needed to do all along was constantly, or, or, or well, okay, yes, constantly. Okay, that fits, but, but consciously take some sort of action for yourself. And now that you've done that, the air is clear and open for you to make some moves, for you to make some changes. Ten of Pentacles at the, as the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is a completion, is a lesson learned. It's like, okay, I just heard finally, this is, finally, we're done with this cycle. Excellent. We can move on to the next now. Right? This is very good, you guys. This is very, very good. Okay. Let's move forward and get Spirit's last little bit. Of, hold on. Somebody, somebody is blowing up my phone at 8 in the morning, probably on Instagram. Who is it? Who is it? I don't know who it is. It's a, it's a, it's a bunch of people. And yes, it is Instagram, but that's okay. I'm just going to silence my phone now. Because it's a little distracting at 8 a.m. Who, who, who the hell are y'all blowing up somebody's phone at 8 a.m.? I am totally kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. Okay. Let's get Spirit's last little bit of this. 
last little take, and then we'll get our oracle guidance. And damn it, I thought I had all of my decks out. Of course, the one deck that I don't have out is a, is a deck I'm feeling guided to use today. But actually, you know what? I thought I was thinking I wanted to go with the Lightworker Oracle in terms of this, but it's too soon. It's too soon for the Lightworker Oracle to be relevant here because you guys, whomever I'm channeling for in this instance, you're you're doing a serious amount of healing right now. Okay, so we're actually going to go with the Crystal Mandala. Yes. All right, but let's get let's get your last little bit of guidance here from spirit in terms of this message one last shuffle and then we'll see what we got for ya all right here we go spirit's guidance here for you Woo! okay first card eight of pentacles excellent all right so you have the moon here is your overall energy and look and look the seven of swords is the only card that fell out of all the cards that fell out this is the only card that fell out face up so I, what i feel like is saying being said here is someone is facing some sort of deceptive tendencies and then i was instructed to pull the top card at the the card at the top of the deck and it was the eight of pentacles so there's some work to do but you're doing this work and pretend, and i feel like what spirit is saying here is really look to how you may have been extremely really like i'm hearing defensive but also deceptive now this deception could have been a defense mechanism sure most likely was a defense mechanism so now the work you need to do right now is to re uh, look past the illusion okay with the moon and start to do the work to heal to remove to release yourself of these deceptive tendencies now this moon energy here could also symbolize a dark night of the soul so there's that <laughs> and again look i know i'm laughing a dark night of the soul is no laughing matter but i'm laughing because i've been there and i've come through it and i know i look i know I know all too well, y'all. It's okay. It is a necessary part of the journey. You're clearing up, clearing up the muck. Yes, you're healing. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Wands, the Devil, Page of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. My, my, my. Don't they just love to make an appearance together lately? Oh, the Page of Wands, Death and Strength in Reverse. This is not a blockage. Okay, this is what you're actively going through here. Page of Wands is a card of self-discovery, reimagination, um, reimagining something, reworking something, creative, an inspiration. It could also be a message. Death and and the strength, though. This is this is you basically reshaping yourself. This is you going through an ego death, a transformation of self, basically. All right, you have the Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, pa the Page of Cups, King, and the Queen of Swords. So it may even be that someone actually does want to apologize, but the Devil, if you are in this energy of, I want to apologize, I want to communicate, the Devil really might be holding you back. See, what I'm seeing here with this line, the Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, page of cups king and queen of swords this is basically the storyline it's like there's a differing of opinion and then 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 something a lesson was learned here there was a harvest here so the differing of, differing of opinion is the five of wands a lesson something was harvest something came to fruition i guess or maybe it didn't come you didn't actually get the harvest that you were looking for someone recognized the devil toxic narcissistic codependent attachment whatnot whatever energies of a situation now there's a, a desire or, or maybe even a need i heard to reconcile page of cups but then but then here you two are king and the queen of swords and what i'm getting with this is the king of swords would kind of is kind of wishing that the queen of swords would not would stop being so um damn harsh 
But this King of Swords can't really say much because the Queen of Swords has every reason and every right to be as harsh as she or he might be being at the moment. The Queen of Swords is not an ice queen just for shits and giggles. You guys, she's not. She's defensive for a reason. She's been hurt. She's been through some bullshit. The Queen of Swords can also represent a divorcee. Okay, so homegirl, homeboy's been through some shit. There's a reason why they're in this defensive, very cold place with you, the King of Swords. Okay. Now, the King and Queen of Swords could also represent the balance of masculine and feminine energy within you, which is a common theme that's going on here. However, these two have been coming, these two came out together once before. This week, I believe it was. If it wasn't, I think it was this week, or was it last week? Was it this week? I think it was this week. Very interesting. Definitely an ego death. Someone is definitely going through an ego death right now. Dark night of the soul with the moon, right? And it's, and it's, your ego really isn't going to die. It's just transforming. Yes? All right. Let's close out this reading here with your oracle guidance. Oracle. Oracle guidance for ya. Woo! For the kids, yeah? <laughs> Okay. All right, one last shuffle. All righty, all righty. Let's see, let's see. What's your oracle guidance today, guys? What do you want me to do? Just this one. Okay. Now, all right, I am going to mention that original self kind of wanted to come out, and I was going to let it come out, but then when it fell, it fell face down. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to take this one. But original self here. Yeah, and look, there's an, those angel wings right there. So someone is really get, going through a purification process to get back down to who they truly are at the core of themselves. I really do feel like there is an energy of someone may have really lost themselves over the years, uh, over the developing years. So that might be, that was like early childhood into adolescence, teenage years, and finally now you're in an adult stage where it's like, who in God's name am I? And what the fuck have I been doing? Big old wake-up call. Big old wake-up call. Okay? But it makes sense, though. It makes sense. And to be quite honest, congratulations for, for getting to this place now. Because now, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is when your life really starts. Now your life really, really starts. You spent so long. You spent X amount of time living for other people. Now it's time to start living for you and getting down to what it is you are meant to be doing here, not what everyone else tells you you should be doing right okay so now the your your message for today is original self ascended master yogananda and rodan uh rodanite i'm sorry not original Ugh, this is empowered service excuse me <laughs> i'm so sorry guys it's card number 25 ascended master yogananda and rodanite rodonite rodanite whatever empowered service we bring you the blessing of empowered service. It is your time to assume your place in the world at the table of the masters who serve the loving hand of the divine. You have been asking for your purpose to be more clearly unveiled and manifested in the world. You have endured lessons of patience. You have learned that spiritual progress can be made even without results being immediately obvious. You have learned that trust and willingness to surrender your personal desires 
I'm sorry, you have learned trust and willingness to surrender your personal de desires into a larger plan. We know that of which you are capable, and we now invite you to step into the next level of empowered service available to your soul in service to the greater plan of divine love unfolding. Excellent. Um... When the Oracle of Empowered Service comes to you, there are particular messages to hear from higher guidance at this time. Trust in your abilities. Do not, you do not have to compare or compete with any other. The people, places, and situations you are here to help this lifetime have been selected at a higher level long before you incarnated. By following your heart, taking soul-satisfying steps on your journey, and believing in yourself enough to take risks to allow for your growth to happen, you will fulfill your destiny. This oracle asks to be open, asks you to be open to the changes you feel are happening now or soon will be, including the opening up of new opportunities, changes that need to happen within your work or your life to better honor who you are and what you have been, what you are attempting to do through your life purpose. You are stepping into a new level. Although you may experience this as an internal stepping up where you feel you are still doing your same work, but simply in a more potent and far-reaching way, it could also indicate external world changes you will need to make. It may be that you need to speak up, take charge, let go, move on, or all of these things and more to really allow the full power you have obtained through your spiritual workup until this point to be expressed live lovingly in the world. It is in alignment. It is in alignment with the divine plan that you do this. It will come together easily once you do what you need to do and trust. Finally, if you have been dreaming of something, wondering if a vocation or life path you fantasize about could translate into a real vocation, this oracle brings you confirmation that you will be given, you will be given opportunities to do so, empowered to manifest your passionate purpose according to the loving plan of divine will unfolding. If you have been wondering if a situation at hand which is challenging you is something you really can't handle, then this oracle comes as confirmation. You will be empowered to obtain what you seek. Excellent, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you later on for on Instagram for our InstaFam check-in. And then also for happy hour later on today. But if I don't see you for those, then I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.